Hi guys, the Metal Maniac back again, and welcome to another music collection update. Um, so let's just get into it. <clears throat> so first up is an album that I've kind of been looking for for a while, but is extremely hard to find. Um, that's uh, Welcome My Last Chapter by the band Vinterland. Um, this is a, um, a black metal band um, that uh, is one of those bands that uh, hasn't put out a lot. Um, they've only ever put out this one album, and then, um, a few years ago, I think, they put out, um, uh, it was a, I guess you'd call it a special edition version, where it had a bunch of songs that were previously on, like, demo, like a demo tape or something, um, and had some extra stuff with it, um, and then they actually re-released the album again as sort of a standard version on vinyl, um, and this is the second re-release, uh, I believe. Um, but, uh, yeah, for some reason they haven't actually put out, like, uh, an actual second album in, like, ever. Like, they haven't, this is the only album they ever put out, and it's been, like, 20-something years since then. So, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Also, uh, both this and the original version is really hard to find. Basically, any version of this album is really hard to find. The original version, the re-released version, and then this re-released version. They're all really hard to find for some reason. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm glad I finally uh, found a copy of this album. Alright. <clears throat> Next up is a box set. A very small box set, but... Uh, this is the uh, Venom the Singles box set. Uh, this contains Venom's first five singles. Um, of course, uh, it contains the In, In League with Satan slash Live Like an Angel, Die Like a Devil uh, single, the Bloodlust slash um, In Nomine Satanus single, the Die Hard versus, uh, not versus, uh, slash uh, Acid Queen single, the Warhead slash Lady Lust si uh, single, and the... I still don't know how to pronounce this title of this song. Uh, Manitou uh, slash Woman single. Um, this is sort of a very standard box set. Mainly because there's not really anything much in here other than the singles themselves. Um, but I'll get more into that once I do a review of this box set, um, which will probably be either today or tomorrow, just depending on, you know, if I feel like making any more videos today, uh, today or not. Um, but, uh, yeah. Also, um, this is a very good box set if you want to get the singles, but don't want to have to track down, like, the, uh, very rare special edition versions of, you know, the first two albums, or if you don't even want to go out and find the uh, a compilation album, um, this is a very cheap way to uh, uh, get the uh, uh, singles. All right. Next up is an original U.S. release of Iron Maiden's debut album. Um, now, I already had the original releases of both Killers and uh, Number of the Beast, uh, and uh, I just happened to find this in my local record store. Um, now, I actually uh, had to replace the uh, inner sleeve because the original inner sleeve was all tattered up and it was just torn to pieces. Um, the vinyl itself is in very good condition, although it is a bit dirty on side B, and I'm going to have to clean the vinyl. But uh, once it's cleaned up, it should work fine. Like, I, there's not really any, like, scratches or anything on it. It's just a bit dirty and dusty, but uh, it should play fine once it's cleaned. Um, and the case itself is a bit roughed up on the top, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's um, in um, pretty good condition otherwise. Um, also, for those who don't know, for whatever reason, um, the, it's, uh, it's kind of, um, uh, if you want to get the complete albums for the first three albums, then you're gonna have to get the original, uh, U.S. versions, because, um, only the original releases of the U.S. versions of the first three Iron Maiden albums have the complete track listing. Um, both the original, um... 
UK versions and the uh, remasters have a song missing from each of the three first, uh, sorry, each of the first three albums. Um, the song that was cut off of this one eventually is the song Sanctuary. Um, the song that was eventually cut off of the uh, second album Killers was the song Twilight Zone. And then the song that, um, was, uh, cut off of the, of, actually, now that I think about it, tw uh, not Twilight Zone, um, Total Eclipse, I don't think actually was ever on any original version of the uh, Number of the Beast album, oddly enough. Um, I'm gonna have to look, hold on. I don't think it was, actually. Because I have the original, an original U.S. pressing here. Hold on. Um. Uh, no. And this is, uh, okay, yeah. So, no, I don't think, unless it's on another version that came out either sli slightly before or after this one that I have. Um, I have an original, uh, U.S. version, but I don't know if it was a very specific version. Or maybe I'm remembering it wrong in, in the... Third album, Number of the Beast, didn't have an extra song on it originally, and it was just as a single. Um, but at least the very first two albums, uh, the self-titled and Killers, both had songs that were uh, cut off of them uh, with the uh, subsequent remasters. Um, but uh, yeah, it's really good to finally have like the full track listing of the original album in its uh, um, uh, follow-up, Killers. Alright, and lastly, uh, is not music, but it is music related, and uh, I finally have this uh, movie in my collection, and that's the uh, movie Deathgasm. Um, now, Deathgasm is kind of, in a way, similar to Heavy Trip. Heavy Trip was pretty much a parody of black metal, whereas uh, this movie is pretty much a parody of extreme metal in general. Uh, black metal, death metal, power metal, all, all the ex more extreme uh, kinds of metal. It's sort of a parody of. Um, now, I won't get in too much detail of uh, this movie because I will eventually do a video of my top five favorite metal movies. Um, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, just like with the other thing. Uh, I might do one or two more videos today just depending on, you know, what I feel like. Um, but, uh, yeah, um... This one is one of the very few more, like, um, uh, I guess mainstream, I guess you could say, uh, metal movies, like a lot of people, uh, a lot of people don't know a lot of, you know, who don't, either don't really listen to metal all that much, or are only familiar with, you know, the bigger bands, uh, don't really know much about, you know, the metal movies and stuff. This is one of the very few that got mainstream attention, um, but, uh. Yeah, I, I love this movie, and I've been wanting to get it for a long time, and now I finally have it. Alright, so that's about it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.